Capping off a decade of dominance in women's badminton, Thailand did just that today with victory over Indonesia in the team event. Former world champion Rachanok Intanon gave Thailand the lead after the first singles, adding salt to the wound. Her opponent, Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, or Tunjung suffered a painful knee injury. That does look incredibly painful. Indonesia then tied the contest with victory in the first doubles match. The pendulum then swished towards or swung towards Thailand's way. World number 15, Busanan Ongbam Rungpan, outclassing Vitriani in straight games. And the gold medal was assured with another clinical display in the women's second doubles. Their gold-winning streak now stands at four, a run that started in 2011. Indonesia's wushu exponent Edgar Mavello turns 21 in a couple of weeks. And he gift-wrapped it, his birthday gift today in the form of two gold medals. One in the Duilian team event and the other in the Daoshu Kunshu combined event. Edgar scored 9.68 points in the Kunshu for a total score of 19.36. The Daoshu part took place on Monday. Singapore's Joe and Lim, gold medalist in 2017, settles for silver this time round. He lost out by a razor-thin margin of 0.04. It wasn't all pretty for Singapore's bowling squad in their last SEA Games outing. And back in 2017 in Kuala Lumpur, the Keglers grabbed just two of the 11 golds on offer as they relinquished their regional dominance in the process. Fast forward two years, though, and the road to redemption has got off to a stirring start. And it comes courtesy from the women's singles event. The Republic nailing a gold a bronze finish. A new Hui Fen, she's on the right, racking up a total of 1,372 pinfalls. Good enough to ace the 28-woman field. Even sweeter, it was also New's first individual medal at any edition of the Games. Indonesia's Tanya Rumimpa took silver while news uh, compatriot Shana Ung completed the podium. Another Singaporean, the defending champion, uh, Cherry Tan, finished in 13th place. And it was a case of who had better sight of the gold in the women's 10-meter air rifle. Singapore shooter Ho Shui missing out on top spot by a slim margin. Her teammate Adele Tan took the bronze. Shui shot a score of 248.2, less than two points shy of Indonesia's Vidya Rafika Ramata. Adele Town's score of 227.3 was more than enough to secure her third place. It was a show of who had the steadier hands as Ho and Vidya Rafika were almost matching each other's score. But Ho just simply could not better the Indonesian in the final two shots. Ho shot 9.8 and 9.8, but Vidya held her nerve to shoot 10.5 and 9.7 to secure the goal. And it is a landmark day in Singapore's chess history as woman grandmaster Gong Chen Yun wins the country's first gold in the event. Uh, for more than six hours, Gong fended off the challenge of nine other chess players before securing top spot in the final rankings. The 34-year-old is Singapore's only representative in this brain sport. More significantly, this is also Singapore's 900th all-time SEA Games gold medal. Singapore's female fences delivered a 1-2 finish in the individual foil event. Amita Berthier getting the better of Maxine Wong to retain her Sea Games title. Amita was trailing Maxine 9-10 to 10 at the end of the first round, but she scored six straight points in the second bout to clinch the gold with a final score of 15-10. In the men's individual Sabre event, Clive Liu fell to local boy Christian Concepcion, 10-15. And Clive shares the bronze with Thailand's Vorangun Shunolnan. So let's take a quick check then on the medal tally as it stands at the moment. Host Philippines sitting pretty at the top with 47 golds. Vietnam a distant second with Malaysia pulling away from Indonesia, Singapore and Thailand. They're all neck and neck with eight golds each.